Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm gonna answer a few good questions that I have gotten on this Lenovo X3850 X6. And the first question is, how much power does it use? I've already answered this in my previous video where I did a render test on it, but I'm just gonna show it again just for kicks. <laughs> also, I had a question, is this server able to be powered on only two power supplies? It has four power supplies in there, each of them is 1400 watts. What happens if you turn off two power supplies? Will it drop performance or will it just continue? We're gonna test that, so we're gonna go into the computer and I'm gonna put on a task on this. I'm actually just gonna be rendering some frames on it. Again, do another render thing. I'm gonna go in here and turn off a couple of power supplies and see what happens. But before I do that, I'm gonna put in some connectors to the power supply so that I can turn them off easily. I think I got one. Just a second. I'm gonna mount them with some power clips things here, like this. That has an on-off switch so that I can on and off the server without pulling out the cords or anything. So if anything bad happens, it should probably be inside of this switch, which costs next to nothing compared to an expensive server. Uh, this server is, according to my calculations, and it, with Danish watt and taxes and all that good jazz, is $93,000. So I'm gonna be mounting a couple of these to uh, disable a couple of power supplies. Okay, back here. We have the server and it has the four power supplies and on each power supply I've mounted a switch. It's, there's four switches. The first power supply, oh that's, it's, they start from the other side. This is power supply number one, number two, number three and number four. And each of them have a switch and I made sure that they're all on. So now we're gonna go into the computer and give this server something to do. At the computer here, I have entered the IMM for this server and I'm looking at the server power management and there is different possibilities. Right now um, it says that redundancy is disabled. I'm not sure about that. I just unplugged one power supply off at a time out there and nothing happens. In here there is different possibilities. It looks like that bay number one is connected to bay number three and they make something called feed number one and there is also a feed number two which uh, is bay number two and bay number four i have not been altering on these settings at all what i plan is to i think i'm gonna disable bay number four first and then i'm gonna disable bay number three and let that run for a little bit and then i will power them on again and then we'll just go in here and see what happened. So we're not gonna alter anything here. This is all default. And to start something, uh, let's see what we got. I have this, I've turned off a couple of render servers. I wanna do a render job with just 15 servers. So I'll start here, 3D Studio Max server. And this server will send a render job if it works. Yeah, there it is. Render setup. This one will send a render job 101 frame to the network. I'll just call it 60. Connect. And there is 15 servers available for this render job. So we'll submit that. Yes, yes. And the server will become very busy doing that. Just close that, and if we go down to the other server, the one we are actually testing, this one, we will see on the performance that it will go up to, uh, I would guess that it would go up to 100%. It's rising, clearly. And over here we can also check out the power consumption. Here are the power supplies right now, they're all good. Power, uh, we are at 565 watts. Let's refresh, 811, so it's using more power now. Each of the power supplies are 1400 watts. This is the DC power 
in usage. So it's using 511 DC powers. The power supplies converge from AC to DC and there are some losses there too. If a power supply is like 80% efficient, that means that if a power supply is doing like a thousand watts AC, you would only get 800 watts DC of usable power. So when one power supply is like 1400 watts, well, we would have to do the calculations. 1400 watts and with an efficiency of 0.8 for 80%. That would give us a total of 1120 watts of power. I don't know what the efficiency is in this power supply. I probably could look that up. Now the server is busy. Let's see what it uses. 884 watts. And it's using the processor is on max 100%. So let's go and disable a couple of power supplies. So the server is down here and it's busy now. So let's go around the back and turn off some of the power supplies. It's very quiet even though it's very busy. Back here. Oh. And this was power supply number one and number two. So the ones that I wanna disable are these two. So I'm gonna take number four and disable that for a bit. There. Now that is disabled, the green light disappeared in here. So that's not visible anymore. I'm just gonna wait for a little bit so that I can see it in the graph, in the computer. And then let, let's turn off number three here. Now that is off. I can hear the fan spinning up. So probably the two other power supplies are getting more busy. I'm just gonna give this a second. Let's turn on number three again. There we are. Number three is on. Give that a little bit again. Check connections are good. Yeah. And turn on number four again. Then let's go in and see if the drop in performance or anything like that. back at the computer and I'm watching the graph here and it's flawless. There's not even a bump in it. Let's see what it says over here. We might be able to see that in the power history over here. Refresh that. Nah, there's not enough measurements to see a drop in power. There are the, well, that's, that's not usable for anything. Power modules, all good. Let's see the event lock. We can probably see the power supplies dropping in and out there. Power supply 4 has returned to normal, graded from full redundancy power unit. Okay, so it did feel it. 3 lost input, 3 returned. It, it seems pretty okay. Error? That's a tough one. That's redundancy lost for power unit. It complains about the missing, but it didn't do anything else about it. So. It uh, has no problems with uh, losing two power supplies. There might be an issue if it loses two power supplies in the same. Power, 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 power management there. It might be differently if it lose, lost power in feed number two or in feed number one. I have no idea. I don't think I want to test that. I just, I tested one of each so it should be able to lose at least two power supplies if they're not in the same feed. If they're in the same feed, I'm not sure what happens. Do we dare to test that? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. The server did not really have a problem losing two power supplies. I disconnected power supply number three and number four. I have no idea what would happen if I disconnected one and two. Probably the same. I mean, if I disconnected two and four, which was in the same power thing, but when the server has four power supplies, you would put power into all four power supplies. So should you lose power on two of them? Normally, it's a good idea to direct power from power supplies to different power units. 
so that um, you have maximum redundancy. So if you have like a, a OOP system, you would have two power supplies going to the OOP system and two going to another system. So that should the other system fail, you will have two power supplies running on the OOP system so that everything continues. I hope that was helpful and answers at least a couple of questions. It does not drop in performance when it loses two power supplies. It's not even noticeable. The fan blower turned up in speed in here, but that was about it. And it complains inside of the log file, but not a glitch. I'll not be able to do more testing on this because when you see this video, I've already delivered this server back. Sorry about that, but I will try and answer as many questions as I can if you leave them down in the comments here. Also, join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post some pictures or what I'm doing. Like the server here, you would actually know that I was getting this server because I posted it when, I was, when it was still in my car. So check me out over at Google Plus and if there is something new there, you can ask me some questions and I'll be able to do them while I have the equipment. These videos are delayed a little bit because I record them and I go home and edit them. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.